Hi guys, uh, welcome back to a new tutorial of Isaac Sim. So, well, in previous videos, we seen how to make an uh, TF and how to integrate the LiDAR uh, action graphs and how to make a camera thing in a cat and robot and also some basics to integrate the tele operation. So, the it's like in a video series, the video tutorial. So you may learn something from that and using that you can make your own robots in Isaac Sim and make the realistic simulation in the synthetic data generation platform of Isaac Sim Omniverse. So well in this video we are going to see how to make an odometry data from the cat and robot from Elida. So we'll integrate the action graph of Isaac Compute odometry in that. For odometry we need some information like linear, angular and the orientation and the uh, rotation values so from that we will uh, record the robot cotton robot from a to b location for that we need uh, some map data also right so here the angular the linear and also position and the orientation these four information we are going to get from the robot cotton robot so it will be parallelly connect with uh, another action graph is in ross one publish uh, odometry from is a compute odometry it's going to create odometry and it will be shared between the rows using ROS1 uh, publish odometry thing. So then uh, we'll use a ROS1 publish raw TF data, TF3. From that we'll get the odom information uh, rotation and the orientation will be connect with the uh, publisher raw tree, transfer tree. So then we'll use these three nodes to create a odometry to record the A to B location in the closed surface of the robot then it will be give the orientation and the rotation and the linear angular motion will be recorded in the odometry information so first uh, we need to launch a ROS score and type ROS topic list you may find out the odometry information is available now so these three graphs right the odometry creator the ROS to publisher for odometry and then the ROS TF tree so these threes and then type ROS topic eco Vodum. So from that, uh, you may identify that uh, linear angular velocity and covariance of this uh, thing. The odometry values will be available on the terminal. You may visualize using this ROS topic eco vodum. So type ROS topic eco vodum. Uh, before that, we need to play the simulation. So the uh, so technical issues going after playing uh, you may identify that the linear the angular uh, velocities of uh, x and y coordinates uh, we can visualize so I am using a LiDAR thing to identify the uh, location so I am using a LiDAR to create odometry from the cat and robot so the covariance and the linear angular uh, we can uh, get from the LiDAR then we we need to open the RVs and go to the frame and go to the vodum add a vodum and go to the add go to my topics and then add a vodum so now you may see some arrow marks right so this is a odometry value we are going to get from the cat and robot to track the location of the robot from the vodum so then uh, we can change the base link or something like that so the like likewise of how means so the base link will be fixed and the letter will be movable so the from that we will uh, track the location right so next video we'll see how to integrate the map with an RVs and then uh, you can find out that the odometry value will be shown in the arrow marks like it will be a uh, drag or it will be make the some motion in between the RVs so from that you may identify that it will be location of the robot. The carton is moving from one location to another location using uh, wheels, right? So the wheels and the odom will be calculate that the B A to B location. So here I am using now tele operation. So the odom value will be changed or the arrow mark will be movable. So I, I need to use a map here. So next video, uh, next tutorial, we'll see how to add a map. So you may think uh, the mapping is a very big issue. Uh, we need to use a lot of algorithm like but in isaac sim it's a single click 
so we can easily make the odometry or and also the mapping so in uh, ros we'll use a different types of mapping algorithm in uh, ros1 we'll use g mapping hecta mapping cartographer in ros2 we'll use slam toolkit and cartographer so here simply one click the map is created so we'll see in next video thank you subscribe the channel